Hi, this is Arlie Carson, and today is February the 26th, 2018. This is a revised tutorial video on how to reset your password on FrippIslandLiving.com. So as an owner, you know you go to this tab. You click on the tab to open up the login page. You type in your username and your password, and for some reason it won't work. You've tried it a couple times, it still won't work. So here's where the video will be, the revised new video. So there's going to be instructions there to remind you how to do this. But anyway, what you'll do is, well, I can't log in, so I'm going to reset my password. So I'll click this link, and it's going to ask you first to enter your username or your email address. In this case, I'll just enter the username of this test uh, membership. And then you're tempted to click the login link. Don't click that link. Click this button here. It looks like it's not activated but it actually is it's reset password so once you've entered your username or your email address click on reset password it's going to check the database to see that that username or that email address is good and it's going to give you a note saying to check your email for the confirmation link so what you'll do is you'll leave this page so i'll go back here then I'll come back over and I will check on the email. And here I've received this email about resetting the password. So what you'll do here is you'll click the link. It's going to take you to a page. It's going to give you, assign you a password, or you can enter your own. So in this case, I'll enter my own. So I'll just type in password one two three four dollar sign and it's telling me that's a weak password so what you want to keep doing is continue doing this until you get something that's at least medium but you preferably you want strong so what I'll do is I'll go something like a character then I'll go in uh, capital letter my and then lowercase y P A S S W O R D one two three four dollar sign. Now that's at least got a medium rating, so I'm going to add a, an amber sand after that. Still low, boom. Now I've got a strong one. So what you're going to want to do is create a password that is strong because you want to protect this site from being hacked. Uh, the other thing is to remember it. So what do you do here? Well, all you have to do is highlight it, copy it, go somewhere and paste it on something that you know you're going to be able to come back to later and try to, instead of having to try to remember. But now that that's entered, enter, press the reset password button. Okay. Your password has been reset. Log in with your new password. Click that link, opens up this page now back at Fox News. That's my username. Enter your username or password here. And here, enter that password I just saved. Now, I'm not going to try to remember it because I'm going to go back and reset this dummy account anyway. So, But I did save it in my cache, so I'm just going to paste it here. And then I'm going to hit log in. And I'm in. There I am. Now, if you use some site, one of the uh, sites I recommend that you use to help you remember your passwords, or in this case, not have to remember your passwords, maybe create one complicated password that you can remember. And then let LastPass save all of the passwords for you. And so that if you ever have to log in and you have to go into LastPass to, to retrieve that password, the only password you've got to remember is the one complicated password that you used for just this application, this LastPass application. In this case, I'm not going to update it. I'm just going to say not now because, again, I'm going to reset the password after this video is over. But that's it. I'm logged in. I've reset the password. And I'm logged in. Now, if you've entered your username or your email address and you didn't get the notification that you're getting a link was sent to your account, 
and you go there and you don't have anything, chances are there's been an issue on the back end that something for some reason got changed and we're going to have to start from scratch with a brand new account for you. So what you'll need to do is contact the home office, the admin at FIPOA, or you can contact me and, uh, we'll reset your account. Of course, we're going to need you to verify your property ownership on the Island. So we want to make sure that not just anyone can gain access to the owner's side of the uh, website. So anyway, once we get the verification information, then what we'll do is we'll create a whole new account for you. And again, I recommend that you save that username and password or use an app like LastPass to save all of your username and passwords for all of your logins, for all of your accounts. And the only one password you've got to remember is the one password that you use to log into LastPass. It will do the rest for you. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, you know, you can contact us at the Popo office or you can fill out a support ticket on this site and contact me and I'm happy to help you any way I can. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'm sorry you're having issues with logging in to FripIslandLiving.com. Thank you.